soon every company is going to implement AI foundation models. How do you decide which model to select? There are lot and lot of models already in the market and every day new ones are popping up. This video is quick and easy guide to select the right model for you. First identify your use case. Do you want model for text based tasks or image based tasks or text to video or all of them or even mix of them. This is called as modality of the model, the purpose of the model. Once you have identified the modality or in other words your task as which task do you want your model to perform in your company, then determine if your task is simple or complex or fall in between. This will help you in picking the right sized model for you and also make sure to keep in perspective the cost of it. The most important factor here in size of these models as it will determine the success of your use case and cost. So if you look at this diagram which is on your screen, you will see that we are starting from the top. First we have identified the modality as whether our use case is text image and as I said text to um, video or text to image or even image to video or image to text it could be anything there are a lot of variations out there once you have identified that then <clears throat> you need to select the size of the model whether it is 1 billion parameter model or 7 billion 11 billion 20 billion or 50 billion or even more now how do you identify that look it all depends upon your use case if your use case is very simple like you just want your model to answer simple questions or if you want to give it a image and ask the model tell me if it's a cat or dog then go with the 1 billion parameter it will require you only one gpu or one accelerator and it will be very cost effective it's a very simple model normally students researchers or very tiny micro businesses would be using this sort of model now, if you want to do something more advanced uh, where you want your model to answer some of the questions very clearly and these questions are simple questions, unambiguous questions where model doesn't have to think more, then go with the 7 billion parameter model or two GPUs. I believe that many of the small businesses will be using that where for instance, they have this contact center or call center where they know that people ask these particular questions about the product, which are unambiguous, clear, and you already have the answer buried in your document. All you want to do is that your model should learn from those documents, which are already set for that product. And then whenever a user comes in on the basis of those unambiguous questions, uh, which might be just selected by the user, then they will this model will be providing the answers. Again, this 7 billion parameter model is will require only two GPUs or so and should be quite cost effective. And it's ideal for the small businesses which have a specific preset use case. Now from 11 billion parameter models, things start getting interest, interesting. This requires around two to four GPUs accelerators. And then this model is more advanced because it can give more clear answers it could even summarize a text it could translate simple languages it could even generate simple uh, images from simple text even small uh, videos for a few seconds and these models might be useful for small and relatively large businesses now after that the real sweet spot comes in, which I believe will be used by most of the companies and organizations out there. That will be the 20 billion parameter models. And it will require around, ideally, around eight GPUs, or maybe, you know, even slightly less, but eight GPUs, I have found out that it's a sweet spot, a spot to give a decent performance out of these models. The reason why I say that this is a sweet spot and will be, used by many organizations is because it can uh, <clears throat> offer a more decent dialogue with the user so you can ask it few questions it will um, chain all the prompts together and then will give you a dialogue based answer the quality of images videos generated from the text prompt 
of these models is, is also quite good and i believe as if your data set is good nicely labeled and unambiguous it's not a dirty data this model should perform uh, for most of the general purpose use cases and having eight gpus in the cloud on demand i think this could be a good balance between cost and accuracy of the model after this 50 billion 100 billion these are the really large models these will be for the enterprise grade organizations or even the cloud based hosted models where people will be just leasing these models and using it on demand uh, and it it might be just pay as you go models because they'll be using 16 plus gpus or even 32 plus gpus which is quite expensive but these will be really good models they could offer really good dialogue like gpt 3.5 or gpt 4 stuff like that and more like 32 plus gpu model the 100 billion parameter model this could these model uh, may pass the test uh, tasks uh, and tests like you might be hearing in the news that few of the gpt gpt 4 models have uh, or similar models have passed the us law test and various other tests sat tests and so these are the models which are 100 plus billion parameter which can do this now um, just as a fun fact human brain has 84 billion neurons and that is where the benchmark is so any model higher than that it is poised to surpass the uh, more complex tasks another way of looking at this is that um, just think in this way if you have a task which you want your foundation model to do just think how much effort and time a human will do if it requires hours and hours or even days of work for a human to do uh, like writing a novel or stuff like that then you know you know that you need a hundred billion parameter model if it is just writing up creating a presentation on the base of some forecasting analysis and stuff which takes human um, a day or an hour then maybe 50 billion parameter uh, might be a good option if um, your use case is like where a human um, call center agent need to interact with user have an intelligent dialogue helping them selecting the right product from uh, various products like uh, you, when you call insurance and you ask the insurance company which product is you useful for you offering them the discount on the go and lot of other things then this 20 billion parameter makes sense if all you want um, your model just like a human to answer some of the level one level two questions about the product like uh, how to reset a password uh, in your organization uh, how to reset the multi-factor authentication at the service desk or stuff like that where you know that the questions will be unambiguous answers are very clear a very small portion of dialogue go with 11 billion parameter and then for all the research and um, play around things 1 billion to 7 billion parameters sound good but again as a as still these are very early days of ai there are few 7 billion uh, models like llama 2 and others which are even providing performance similar to what we were seeing in the 11 billion parameters so i believe that as the time will progress even many of these 7 billion parameters or maybe even 1 billion parameter will be offering um, more and more performance <clears throat> just like the today's 20 billion or 11 billion parameter models exciting times ahead but for now if you need to make a decision about picking the right model for your for the right case for your organization this is the way to go i hope that you have found it useful if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel thank you very much